Hey everyone, it's Kevin We're back with another video. I told you when we started adding stuff to this camper, we'll be doing it on video and showing you how we do it and what we're doing. So what I did is I went into the Harvard Freight and I found an ATV. It's a cargo carrier. It's for an ATV. It's 300 uh, pound of weight capacity. I'm not going to stick 300 pounds on this uh, thing. If we have anything, maybe a box on there, I'm going to put a battery on there. Something small. It's not going to be used for a lot of big stuff. So this is the only one that I could find that was actually, it, it ended up being uh, 40, like maybe 49 inches. So it's just over, but I think with the trim on the trailer and everything, it's going to line up pretty decent on here. So um, we're going to figure out how to put this thing on the front of this trailer. So we'll have a rack up there. All right, we got it all opened up here, got it unboxed here. As you can see, we have one side piece there, one side piece here, and this is what would go into your hitch. This would slide into the hitch. Now, this is actually made for an ATV. I'm sure you could use it on a, a car, too, if you wanted. You just can't go over the 300-pound weight capacity. So, this is not made to go on the front of this trailer, but I'm going to sit down and look at this thing and see what I need to do to get it to where it will fit on the front of here. So it'll take a little while for me to figure it out, but as soon as I figure it out, I'll come back to you and I'll uh, let you know how I'm going to mount it on there. All right, here's what we came up with. I got a piece of quarter inch steel. I didn't actually have this size. I needed an inch and a quarter, but I just cut that down through there and uh, got me a piece of quarter inch steel. Now I'm going to weld that on there. That way, when I bolt this on, when I bolt this side of that rack on right there, if for some reason this thing would get bent or broken or something like that, I'll be able to take it off and go buy another one and put it on. So that'll be easy to replace if we have to replace it. So we're going to get this thing welded on here. Okay, now we got our little piece welded on there. Uh, not the best weld in the world, but I'm sure it'll hold great. We spot welded all the way up through there, and we did the same thing on this side over here. We spot welded all the way up through there. So mainly right where the bolts go, we spot welded. Uh, about two inches or two and a half inches on each piece. Well, by each bolt on both sides. So now we're going to go ahead and bolt this rack up. All right, uh, we I went through my junk that I have, and I found a couple of these rubber bushings here and what I'm going to do with these rubber pieces is when I come over here and mount this on it'll actually rest on this rail that comes over here. It will keep it from bouncing around so much. So I found a couple of these and that'll help stir it up and we also got a plate we got to put on here yet but we're still working on just getting this onto the trailer. So these little rubber things will come in handy that'll keep it from making a bunch of noise when it's uh bouncing around back here. So we're going to go ahead and bolt this thing up then we're going to work on this front piece. Okay you can see where we put the plate in there. We got the plate put right inside there. It's a quarter inch piece of plate by inch and a quarter. And we put a couple more rubber pieces. We put one down here and we have one there and one there and one over there. Now that sturdies it up real well. Now when we took the piece out of the middle that made this piece too long, so we had to cut this off and re-drill this hole. But other than that, it was actually a pretty easy fix. So, you can see what we have. A nice basket on the front. Okay, total on this job, we had about uh, just over $50. Uh, it was $49 for the rack plus tax. The metal and the welding didn't really cost me anything. So. It wasn't a bad project and it didn't cost a lot for the rack to be put on there. It's, it's definitely really good and sturdy. I wanted to tell everybody thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe or give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Now we're going to keep working on this camper and we're going to keep putting uh, on there each piece that we build. So keep an eye out for my next video. We are going to do a ceiling uh, vent in the top. So... And it's going to have a nice fan in it. So, till next time.